what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock Screech. I'm your host Dan and on today's episode we're going to be installing part number SEAT-921 on an old style club car DS. Now before we get started let's take a look at everything that comes in the kit and the tools we're going to need before the installation. So when you first open up your kit you're going to have your foot plate and then after that you're going to have your seat back and seat bottom cushions. So after your seat cushions you're going to have your two seat back brackets. You're going to have your two horizontal supports and your two rear seat back brackets. So after that, you're going to have your two handrails, your handrail extensions, your vertical supports, your foot plate brackets, and your box of hardware. And then finally, we have our seat box itself. And now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need from the installation. First up, we have a cordless drill with a 2764 drill bit. We have a small drill bit for drilling pilot holes. We have a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 sockets. We also have a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 open-ended wrench. We have a normal Phillips head screwdriver, and we have a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. We have a couple of clamps and, of course, some safety glasses. Now, as always, before we get started, we just want to make sure that we set our parking brake, turn our cart off, and if you have an electric cart, we want to flip the tow run switch to the tow position. Once all that's done, we can go ahead and begin by removing the rear top struts, but first we want to make sure that we put some kind of prop rod underneath the top so it doesn't fall down on our head. Now that our top struts are removed, we can go ahead and remove our front seat back cushions. Now that our front seat back cushions are removed, and before we remove our sweater basket, we need to first remove our access panel. Once that access panel is off, we can get to all the necessary bolts to remove that sweater basket. Now that our seat back brackets are removed, we can go ahead and remove a rear bumper. Now that our bumper is removed, we're going to go ahead and install our front seat back brackets. Now with these brackets, we're only going to install the bolts at the front of the brackets as we will need to leave the back loose so that we can install our horizontal supports. Now that our seat back brackets are installed, we can go ahead and install our vertical supports. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how I like to install them, but it really is more helpful if you have two people. Now for this process, I like to put the vertical supports onto the frame of the cart before I even try to install the bumper. And then with the bumper, I go ahead and thread my hardware through the bumper and I hold the washers on with my fingers. When I go to put the bumper on the cart, I'm going to go ahead and just thread one side at a time through the holes on the cart and then I'll move to the other side. So now that our vertical supports are installed, we can go ahead and install our horizontal supports. Now at the front of the horizontal support, we are going to slip that underneath of the front seat back bracket and then install our hardware.
Now at this point in our install, we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything that we have installed on the cart down completely. Now the reason we're doing that is because typically when we install everything, we wanna make sure that we leave everything loose until the end of the install, but because the box is so big on our 900 series kits, we are gonna to wanna to have some extra tension on the mounting points to make it a little bit more secure when we go ahead and install everything. Now that the frame is tightened down, we can go ahead and reinstall our access panel. Once that access panel is installed, we can go ahead and install our rear seat back brackets onto the box. So in order to install our new seat back brackets, we're going to have to remove these two bolts on either side of the rear of the box. I have the box just sitting on the cart backwards right now just so we can hold it up and show you guys what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and remove these two bolts and install the brackets. Once the brackets are installed onto the box, we can go ahead and attach our new seat back cushion. Now that our rear seat back cushion is installed on the box, we can go ahead and install the box onto the cart and secure it with the supplied hardware. Now that the box is installed on the cart, we can go ahead and install our foot plate. So now that our foot plate is installed, we can go ahead and begin to install our handrails. Now, our handrail system is made up of three different parts. You have your main handrail. You wanna make sure that the threaded nutser is on the outside of the cart. And then we have our extension, which is gonna go up underneath of the handrail. And then finally, we have our foot plate bracket. So we're gonna start by installing the top handrail portion first, and then we'll install the extension, and then we'll install the foot plate bracket. Once we have the driver's side done, we're going to go ahead and repeat the exact same process on the passenger side of the cart. Now that our handrail system is installed, we can go ahead and install our new seat bottom cushion. So now before we install the seat cushion onto the box, we need to make sure we remove these two locking tabs before we put the cushion on. So when you're installing your seat cushion, you wanna go ahead and just set the seat cushion down onto the frame. You're gonna slide it around until you feel it lock into place. And once all the tabs are lined up, you're gonna go ahead and just press down, and that's gonna lock your cushion into place. Once your cushion's in place, you can go ahead and reinstall those mounting tabs that were here earlier. Now that our seat bottom cushion is installed, we can go ahead and install our top struts. For our application, we're going to be using part number TOP-0105. Now in order to install those, we're going to go ahead and remove the caps and the bolts that are at the rear of the seat box. And we're going to go ahead and put the top struts in those holes. Once the top strut is in those holes, we can go ahead and mark the hole, pull the top strut back out, and drill the holes all the way through the strut. Now if you're going to be installing an extended top, you would use part number TOP-0108. Now, if you're gonna be installing an extended top on your cart, you'll be using part number TOP-0108. You would follow the exact same process as we're about to show you now.
Now that our top struts are installed, we can go ahead and install our front seat back cushions. Once our seatback cushions are installed, we can go back through the entire kit and tighten everything down. Once everything's tightened down, that's going to complete the installation for part number SEAT-921 on our old style Club Car DS. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.